Oprah's 50th bash, you know, when she turned 50, and you were performing alongside Will Smith and John yeah. Travolta, Tina Turner, all of those. So, I mean, you know. Yeah, that was... What was that like? I mean, uh, a dream come true. I think it's one of the things that people really say to me, like, how was that? You know, how was the Oprah Winfrey show? And I think, I think after Madiba, like, Lady Smith and I were the second South Africans ever on the Oprah Winfrey show, you know? Um, for me, I was very proud. I mean, Oprah's like me and my mom's time, quality time together. And we're <laughs> yeah. sitting there, we're like, let's see where Danny Kay is. And when we saw that South Africa's making such an influence and that Oprah loves it, I was so proud. It, it was, was uh, it was amazing. So, so being the busy boy that you are, Danny, yeah. <laughs> you, said, um, you said today that you've just done about eight shows in six days or something, something crazy yeah. like that. And what do you do with your very precious free time then? Um, I, uh, I'm normally just like chilling out like as hard as I can really to be honest. And now that after J23 what can we expect from you in terms of albums, that kind of thing? Um, well the next big project I guess I'm associated with is um, a collaborative album uh, with Mendoza which I suppose is, you know whenever I say that people go like, huh? <laughs> like with who? Wow, um, but I th yeah, I think when you hear that, when you hear what what we're doing, it's gonna it's gonna excite a lot of people. It's uh, it's allowed me to to take to take a lot of risks and uh, and to do the stuff that a lot of people don't know I can do. Yeah, that's that's sort of the next step in in, in my life. All right, Ellie, I've hugged him enough. He's all yours. <laughs> Okay. Um, Danny, I'd like to know a lot of exciting things have happened to you over your career. Mm. I've watched them all. I've kept in, in contact and everything. I'd like to know from your point of view which one was the greatest and at the top of the list for you. The highlight of my career. Yeah, um, you know, for me, the greatest moment was probably when I first got my my first deal you know I I was struggling for so many years like literally for six years I couldn't get a record deal and I was writing demo after demo and I just I couldn't catch a break but then one day um, one guy at a company took a chance on me you know and that for me was like here's my shot and I knew that once I got that shot I had to do it right or that was it um, you You've got very hectic lives, you're very well known overseas as well as in South Africa, and yet you are such a down-to-earth and great guy. How do you stay so grounded? Is your family that keeps you going, or you try not to think about it? Or? Yeah, I mean, I, thank you for that. My family Pleasure. definitely, uh, you know, prevent my head from kind of growing it's too amazing. too big or mm. becoming too much of a diva, which I think is something that all musicians suffer from at time to time, you know, because when you, like, kind of see people, like, like liking you and admiring you yeah. it's it's very easy to get swept swept, or, swept away. away in it you're welcome to continue asking um, him if you have more no i just want to say danny k you are brilliant i love thank all your you. music thank and you, i'll <laughs> continue being the loyal fan i have been for the well listen years. i mean you know it's you are my lifeblood you know you really are and you know, without people like you to support me, you know, there is no me. Honestly and truly, the honor's all mine because every fan I cherish in my life. Thank you so much for Any time. taking time out to see me. Any time. Oh, you guys, you can make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Danny. We look forward to seeing you a little bit later in concerts. Awesome. We'll be right in front there with our pom poms really? going rah, rah, rah. Yes, really? for sure. Really? Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you very much. It's so wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. That was fun. Oh my God, I just did that. <laughs> the day isn't over till the big boy sings, and after the break, Ellie gets the best seat in the house for Danny's gala performance with some other great stars.
I must say, Ellie's keeping up quite nicely with all the excitement of the day. She's just had her one-on-one -on -one with Danny, and now we're on our way to the Standard Bank Arena to see him performing live on stage with the likes of Denim, Mendoza, Arthur, and a number of other popular acts for an AIDS benefit concert. No rest for the wicked on this show. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the fabulous Danny Show's over, eh? Danny, I believe this is the first time you've performed at the Standard Bank Arena. What was it like for you? It was, you know, I remember this venue from when I was a kid. I saw, like, I was saying, you've from Christopher to Dr. Alban, and uh, it's amazing sometimes to think that, like, now I'm actually the guy on stage here. What did you think of your show? Oh, wow. <coughs> I was standing there and as soon as he came on there, my feet started moving again. <laughs> Nearly did the dance I did this morning, you know, so it was fantastic. Yeah, they were very well loved. Thank you so much. Next, turn the music up! Absolutely. I'm very to say nothing, don't you worry. I got presents for you. <laughs> um, it was. I can't actually describe it. It's uh, made my dream come true. The best Women's Day I've ever had, and it was just spectacular. Really. And how were you feeling? What were some of the feelings you were feeling? Some of the feelings. I was feeling nervous. I don't want to act like a, you know, someone stupid in front of Danny Faye, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and all the cameras and that. But uh, um, he's very relaxing. He made me relaxed. You made me relaxed. And uh, it was everything I hoped for. And we got to hear your song that you were speaking about earlier on with Mendoza yeah, today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Myself, I'd say I think it's going to be a hit. Thank you for so sure. much. Danny, what, is, what did you think of it? I thought it was brilliant. And I love Mendoza and Danny Kay put into one song. I'm happy. You know, no one had ever heard the song today. And it's always difficult performing a song that no one's ever heard before. And, you know, I think the crowd uh, caught on to it quickly, which is a good sign because it means that there's potential for it to be catchy. You know, yeah. so. It's just the music! <laughs> Music makes me wanna lose it. I can't control it. I can't refuse it. The melody, the harmony, it's all a part of me. If I win or lose it, I still got break it down now. Who's gonna be there in the club when Saturday night comes round? Tell the DJ to turn it up, cause the party's going down. Well, Ain't nobody party like we do down in the dirty south. I catch your ass to stand the bank, cause we about to turn it out. There was one final request, Danny, if you could please do us of the honors. Of course, of course, of course, of course. If you haven't got them, they're 99, 95. <laughs> and bar now, and you get. This one free. <laughs> Ellie, is there anything, the last chance, what is there anything that you would like to say to Danny before we, before we call it a day? Oh, do we have to call it a day? Anyway, <laughs> um, I just want to say um, you are like the favorite artist of mine and my mom. My mom <laughs> loves you as well. Thank you, mommy. And, uh, um, I just want to say keep up the good work because I'll be 100% behind you. I'm one of those fans that will keep their loyalty Thank you and so much. You're, you've got talent, man. You got it. Go for it and hope you reach all the dreams you want. We'll gather it together, sweetie. <laughs> thank you, seriously. No problem. Uh, and can I say more thanks? Yes, absolutely. I'd like to say thanks to my mom for entering me into the competition. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be sitting here. And um, to Meet the Fan, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have this opportunity. And to the crew of Meet the Fan, I couldn't have chose better people to spend my day with. Oh, awesome, sweetie. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you very much, you guys. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> What did you think of Danny Kay before you met him and after having spent time with him today, do you think your opinion of him has changed? Never, never. It's actually grown because he's such a down-to-earth, nice guy, you know, and with what he's got, you'd think, Maybe a bit snotty or a bit big-headed, but no. he is just your your average nice guy, and he's, he's really nice. And how did you feel when you were sitting with him, sitting with him at Melrose Arch, just chatting about I don't feel, whatever? Um, 
the adrenaline rush through my body trying to really <laughs> <laughs> trying to contain my nerves and, and my stomach and you know but uh, once I got chatting I, could, I felt relaxed and I just wanted to tell him everything I've been dreaming to tell him since he started his career. So all in all are you still going to be an avid supporter of Danny Kay? <laughs> yes, <laughs> very much, more than ever. I'm so glad that you had a great time sweetie. Thank you, Thank so you for much coming on to meet the fan. Thank you very much. Of well, fortunately, Ellie didn't call the cops on us when we just pitched up on her doorstep today. In fact, I think she took the news of spending the day with Danny Kay rather well. We bundled her off into the car so that she could go to Melrose Arch with us and spend some time with Danny Kay chatting about this, that and the other. And finally, she got to see him performing live right here at the Standard Bank Arena for the AIDS Benefit Concert. Remember, it could be you. So hop into our website or go to your nearest Beyond Go studio and tell us why you should be the next fan right here on Meet the Fan. To enter Meet the Fan, go to the Mnet site or go to your nearest Beyond Go studio and tell us why you are your South African icon's biggest fan. Beyond Go studios are located at Canal Walk, Gateway, Menlin and The Zone.